Good evening. I'd like to begin by thanking you all for being here. My name is Adriana Walana Wizar, and it is an honor and a privilege to represent my fellow classmates of Arub Bay Jesuit High School. When I was in eighth grade, my classmates would constantly ask, why in the world are you applying to a school that is 45 minutes away from Brighton? I just see better opportunities there, I would answer earnestly. And this was the truth. I wanted the best opportunity for success that I could find. I'm the daughter of immigrants. My parents didn't graduate from high school or attend college, but they came to this country with the hope that their children would achieve a future they couldn't achieve themselves. I believed a Rupi Jesuit would prepare me for that future, and that belief was confirmed on the day I shadowed at Arupe. On my shadow day, I saw for the first time what a special place Arupe was. I saw four years ago what I now see every day. Students and faculty members truly work in a close-knit community. The small class size allows teachers to know their students and to bond with them. Additionally, attending Arupe would provide me with the opportunity to participate in the work-study program where I could gain four years of work experience. Most importantly, every Arupe Jesuit graduate is accepted to college. So, despite the sacrifices I would be making, I knew I wanted to be a part of the Arupe community. Fortunately for me, I went through the application process and was accepted. At Arupe, every student is taught to be intellectually competent, to be prepared to enter college, and to be successful there. As I'm sure you know, this can be challenging. Every day, we study in six rigorous courses. We learn to balance the extracurriculars that fill our afternoons and evenings and we learn to meet the demands of real-world business settings. However, the support everyone provides, especially teachers, makes the difference. Each day, early and late, you can see many teachers offering additional aid to the students. Mr. Barajas teaches freshmen about fractional exponents, while Mr. Graham helps us combine four years of science into our capstone presentations. At Arupe, you don't have to work on your own. St. Ignatius of Loyola wrote that, love ought to show itself more in deeds than in words. That is one of the most important lessons I have learned while being at Arupe. While I've experienced that love through all the people who have helped me, I am fortunate to have the opportunity to share that love with others as well. Just recently, I participated in a Rupe Senior Service Project. I volunteered my time at Mount St. Vincent, an organization that assists children with behavioral and emotional challenges resulting from trauma in their lives. Before beginning my, my journey as a woman for others, Father Nugent celebrated Mass in our new chapel. During Mass, I remember hearing that God wanted us to serve the less fortunate and to try to put ourselves in their shoes. I arrived at Mount St. Vincent inspired by that gospel message. I spent entire school days reading to the children, playing with them, or listening to their imaginative stories. During my time at Mount St. Vincent, I developed close relationships with these students. I realized then that I placed myself in these children's shoes and was exposed to a perspective of the world I had not seen before. Thanks to Arupe, I've had the opportunity to change my perspective in other ways as well. Since freshman year, I have attended a total of six pre-collegiate programs, three of which have been out of state. 
Each one of these programs allowed me to learn more about what it means to enter the college world. This past summer, I was one of 68 students that was accepted to participate in a three-week college immersion program at Franklin and Marshall College. At Franklin and Marshall, I completed two three-week courses, one in psychology and one in African studies, finishing each with a presentation. I participated in college readiness workshops and met with a number of FNM alumni during university-sponsored dinners. Having gained these insights over the summer, I returned to Arupe even more prepared for my senior year and the push for my college journey. My push for college and my passion for law grew when the work-study program placed me at Brian Cave Law Firm. Currently, I work with the client services team where I provide assistance to associates, attorneys, and partners. My work days never look the same. There is something new happening in CST every day. One week, I might be entering monthly bill narratives, and the next, I have a chance to proof court case files. Always, I have the opportunity to look up to attorneys and see what I can become one day. Through my studies and my work experiences, I've discovered that I am definitely interested in the legal field. And as a woman for others, I know that I want to also give back to my Latino community. As a child, I saw how difficult it was for my mother to gain citizenship status in this country. And I know that many others face similar challenges. So my current plan is to continue studying in the Jesuit tradition. And just this morning, I learned that I've been accepted to College of the Holy Cross. There, I plan to study political science, follow my passion for the law, and fulfill my desire to become an immigration attorney. As a Latina, <laughs> as a Latina practicing law, I will continue to live the values that Arupe Jesuit has taught me. By serving the underrepresented members of the community, I want to show my commitment to justice. During these last four years, I have learned the value of hard work and the value of education. I am reminded every day of the potential I have to make a difference. For all these reasons, I'm about to fulfill my lifelong dream of attending college. And that dream has been made possible thanks to Arupe Jesuit, to my family, and to all of you who are here tonight. <laughs> to my family, I say, Mama y Papa, gracias por cada uno de sus esfuerzos, por siempre creer en mí y apoyarme en cada una de mis metas. Si no fuera por su apoyo incondicional, no pudiera estar donde estoy hoy. Estoy sumamente agradecida y bendecida de tenerlos a ustedes como padres. To the faculty and staff of Arupe, your constant encouragement and your willingness to support us in our studies make us believe in our potential. For four years, you have pushed us to do more than we think we can do. To our work study sponsors, and other benefactors. I want to extend my gratitude and the gratitude of every Arupe Jesuit student. You believe in our potential and your support allows the students of Arupe Jesuit to achieve extraordinary things. You offer each and every one of us hope for our future. And that is the best gift of all. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening.